Hey YouTube, Gear Driven 101 here. I got a part two video for you on my balancing series. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to try and explain to you the principles of a static balance and a dynamic balance, okay? And how they affect the vehicle and the driving experience. So behind me, I have a wheel set up and on my balancer and I'm gonna demonstrate to you so hopefully you can visually conceptualize the effect of the two different types of balance. Okay, so here I have a wheel set up. As you can see, I have three planes of tape, okay? Central plane here is representing the center of the wheel, which would be the static balance point. And these two outside planes here will represent the dynamic balance points, okay? So first I'd like to talk about <coughs> the static balance, okay? On every wheel, you're gonna have a heavy spot, which is represented by this black uh, piece of tape on the um, other piece of tape, which is green. Um, this piece of tape here is the heavy spot. So as your vehicle is driving down the road and the wheel and tire assembly is rotating, that is gonna take this point, it's gonna wanna lift it towards that point. It's gonna wanna pull the wheel and tire assembly at that point, okay? So what that's gonna do is, when that point reaches up vertical from the ground, it's gonna wanna pull the wheel up. When it comes to the bottom, okay, it's gonna wanna pull the wheel down, okay? So what's gonna happen is you rotate, the wheel is gonna hop up and down, okay? Now, they say that the static balance um, depends on your source, but it has an effect that's, um, acceptable for up to 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. But once you reach modern highway speeds, it will not be able to compensate for the effect of the dynamic balance, okay? Now, um, to compensate for the heavy spot, what the machine's gonna do is gonna tell you, okay, got a heavy spot, now let's take 180 degrees, which we'll say is this blue spot right here, we're gonna stick the wheel over here. So this is gonna cancel out this, okay? This has spot. So they're gonna counter out to each other because you're gonna put an equal amount of weight to the effect of the pull of this spot, okay? Now, dynamic balancing. What's the effect of that? <clears throat> so a dynamic balance, as you drive down the road, is going to have heavy spot on the outside plane and the inside plane, all right? That is represented by, again, the black tape, all right? So what visually it does, it's gonna take the wheel on this heavy spot, and it's gonna pull it, okay? And it's gonna keep pulling it, keep pulling it, keep pulling it, okay? And that's going to cause effect of the wheel going back and forth inside and out. Okay, now your steering linkages are fixed. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna wanna pull the steering linkage in and out, okay? That will cause the steering wheel vibration. Whereas the static balance, it has more effect on, uh, it'll cause a vibration in the vehicle, and as well, because it doesn't compensate for the dynamic, it will cause a, uh, this effect, okay? Now, the inside plane is the same principle, okay? This side is the heavy spot. So say there's no, this is all zeroed out. There's, there's no compensating needed um, on this point here. That's gonna take this, it's gonna pull the wheel in, okay? And it's basically gonna act the same way as if it was outside, okay? Only difference is instead of pulling the wheel out, tilting the wheel out, it's put tilting it in. So. Dynamic balance is basically two spots. Now, to fully compensate for that, it comes to a point. You put the wheel weight on, a, again, 180 degrees, okay? So we'll take a wheel weight right here. We're gonna stick it on 180 degrees, okay? On, on most car, cars that have the stick on weights that you need, you're gonna put it on this spot here. So you're gonna have to put more weight at this point because there's also weight outside of that point. 
So to compensate for the weight of this section right here, you have to put more weight here. Okay, but on the inside, it's usually not a problem because you can put it right on that spot, the outermost part. So you gotta put a weight here to counteract here. And you're gonna do the same with the inside plane, all right? Right here, okay? So this side, okay, is compensated for, it's zeroed out. This side is now zeroed out. That's gonna allow the wheel to rotate smoothly down the road without pulling left to right, tilting in and out, okay? Now, these two spots also have a compensating t compensation to a degree for the static balance because these two weights, okay, say you have wheel weight here and wheel weight here, okay? Let's just say, it doesn't matter what plane, just say two weights here. You're gonna come to a point where they have a general gravitational pull, okay? That is the effect of uh, the dynamic balance points, okay, and the compensation for it. So you zero them out, you're not gonna have the tramping, and you're not gonna have the pulling in and out, all right? So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it helps me out a lot. I'm really trying to you know, come up with interesting videos for you guys. And uh, until next time, have a great day.